Welcome to the Serpentine Creative Channel. I'm your host, Stella Williams, and you're watching Serpentine Reads. Before I get into my review, I really want to show you guys my shirt. It says, we need diverse romance. And, you know, this is what my channel is about, is promoting diversity and paranormal romance. So, of course, I'm going to support we need, hashtag we need diverse romance. And if you would like to get a cool shirt or tote or cup or whatever, I will have the link to the Teespring campaign below so you can get a lovely shirt like mine. Maybe in a different color. I don't know. That's up for you. Now into my review. Today on Serpentine Reads, I will be discussing Hexes and O's by Coco Brown and Tay Crenshaw. And it is a magical rom interracial romance. Mm -hmm. And it's super sweet and fun and I really enjoyed reading it. It involves lots of like sweet interactions and fun banter between the two main characters. As far as the magical elements, it is <laughs> sorry, um, my daughter refuses to nap, so ignore that. But <laughs> Anyway, the overall, I just really had fun reading this novel. It plays, it's set in the Carolinas and it talks elements of the Gullah Igishi culture. And it was just a super, super fun read. As far as my objective rating, that's for. For the heat scale, I would definitely say that this is a steamy read. They get to the heat rather um, quickly in the book, and although it doesn't fall into the muy caliente category, if you're more of like the sweet heat kind of hand holding first build up kind of person it's very much just like right away there's attraction right away you know stuff happens and they kind of get into it but it's not um over the top it's really well done and for the readability obviously i had a lot of fun reading this book i finished it fairly quickly um not that it's a short book it is a full length but uh, when I'm really into something, I can read it really fast. So uh, this is definitely a peaceful read. I didn't see uh, any issues grammatically or have any issues with dialogue or anything that took me out of the story. Um, I, Like I said, it was a very quick read for me because I was so invested in the characters and how things were going to play out that it took me like maybe an hour to read the book even though uh, my Kindle yeah, suggested that it would be a three hour read. Um, and then shenanigans. And for my overall score, obviously I loved it. I highly recommend you checking it out. It is currently free on Kindle um, and today is May 15th, May 15th. So uh, if you're watching this May 15th 2019 head on over to Amazon check it out for free and if not I fully recommend just going ahead and buying it. I fully intend on following up with the rest of the series. It's from the Low Country Witches and I'm guessing it's gonna follow um, this is this group of this family and the siblings, the sisters, um, based on the excerpt for the next 
available novel um, and I'm really looking forward to when that comes out so that I can continue reading um, about the witches and their lore and also for the fun banter that the main characters seem to have back and forth. Um, so definitely go check out Hexes and O's. This has two authors, Coco Brown and Tag Crenshaw. I will have both authors' Amazon pages linked below as well as the <clears throat> link to Hexes and O's, Low Country Witches. And that is my review video for this week. Short and sweet. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you.